I think one thing that we all want to be, even if you're not like a super competitive player or a tryhard player, maybe you're just a casual, but I, I think the main thing is that everybody wants to be consistent in some way. Maybe you want to be able to consistently anti or maybe you want to be able to have some consistent pressure or, or just you just want to win consistently, right? You want to be a consistent player and I feel like everybody is kind of chasing that. That's one of the reasons why we idolize players like Daigo and Infiltration and, and Tokido, players who win consistently throughout all iterations of the games that they play. It's so difficult, especially at that level too. And some of the things that makes it difficult are like the amount of information that you need to know and, and how varied every single game can be in every single matchup, right? There's, what, 40 characters in Street Fighter V, something like that, maybe 45. They don't have different moves and not everybody plays them the same. They can do any of these moves at any time. It's hard to be consistent in a game that is so inconsistent and in a genre that can be so inconsistent, right? Not everybody's gonna do the same move at the same time or have the same uh, button timing, right? Th that's a, a more advanced concept, but once you get there, you'll realize that some people like to stagger more. Some people like to um, just press over and over again, right? It it's going to be different. They all have the same attacks, but the way that they use them uh, just doesn't always add up the same. And that's just speaking about your opponents, not yourself. You have to be consistent as well in the very basic things like anti-airing and hit confirming and stuff. And that, even that is kind of advanced for some of you guys who are just getting into the genre. You're just trying to consistently be able to input special moves or be able to move around the stage properly. If you're playing like a, a game like Melty Blood or like uh, I, I guess Strive 2 where there's a lot more movement options in Street Fighter where you have air dashes and you have uh, quick jumps or... or uh, Super jumps, that's what they're called. So you not only have to fight with your character to input all the special moves the way you want to, but you have to fight with them in order to master the movement. I shouldn't say fighting with your character or fighting with the game. Sometimes you're fighting with a new input device, or sometimes you're fighting with how your hands want to work on that new input device. There's a bunch of kinks to iron out before you really uh, understand how you need to input things and input movement and stuff. But the game itself and the character itself is usually consistent, right? It's not like you're going to input an instant air dash and Kai's just not going to do it sometimes. The game will always give you the instant air dash you just have to be consistent in the way that you're inputting it that's what i really meant but again that's at the most basic level once you you know you reach a certain intermediate stage i guess you would say right you're not a beginner anymore but you're not quite a, a pro or anything you're really trying to understand neutral and navigate through neutral and there's so many different things that can happen and what you really need to do is condense it down to what they're doing that that's a, a big thing that i'm practicing right is like uh, I know all the buttons that Luke can use, for example, but what buttons is he actually using and what can I whiff punish, you know? Because a really common misconception that I think we get from watching really strong players and watching tournaments and stuff is that you need to react to everything. Like anything the opponent does, anytime they mess up or they screw up or they whiff something, you need to be on top of it. Which just isn't possible, right? Like you can't react to everything and in, in most cases you will die trying to react to everything if that's how you choose to play. You will notice if you watch very closely, a lot of pro players let things go sometimes. There's a great example of this. I think it was at Capcom Cup, the last one where Idom won, and it was Mago versus it was Mago versus somebody. I don't remember. He was still playing Karen at the time. And there's a point where the opponent jumps. I think I think it was Tokido. I don't remember who it was. They jumped, and Mago doesn't anti-air. He would have won the game if he anti-aired, right? Because it was it was that close of a game. And everybody's kind of like, oh man, why didn't he anti-air? You know, like why didn't he just take the win? Uh oh, you know what it was? It was Evo Japan versus Nauman, I think. But anyways, he, he didn't anti-air when he could have just won off of it. And Sajim had a really good analysis on this, and he said. He was just too focused on the ground game, right? Karen's really good footsies, doesn't have very good anti-airs, and Mago was trying to win the ground game, and Nauman just jumped, and, and he just wasn't ready for it. He just wasn't ready to anti-air it. Pro players are not reacting to everything. That's that You can't be consistent doing that. Instead, they're reacting to things that, one, they're looking for, and playing a little bit more preemptively than it might look. You don't really realize things like that until you start watching uh, videos like Juicebox's um, footsie guide and stuff like that. There's no pro players that are making videos just telling you exactly what they're thinking all the time, because one, they, they can't do that, obviously. <laughs> like, you can't just have a stream of consciousness like a robot. And two, I, I think they just don't, like, some people just aren't good at explaining stuff like that. I think that's why Juicebox's guide has so many views, because he explains it in such a way that is easy to digest, but also like gives you all the nuance and complexity of what's actually going on on the screen. It, it's a, a talent to have. It's not something everybody can do, and, and many people will try, but it, the message kind of gets convoluted sometimes. But yeah, just a short little video today. I'm not going to drag it out to eight minutes to try and make 53 cents off of it. <laughs> so uh, if you enjoyed, please consider subscribing, and I'll talk to you again soon. Thanks so much.